did I say oximeter? This is, <laughs> this is a really cool thing. Um, Innovo is the company, I believe. And this is, uh, it like monitors your, your heartbeat. This is, um, I've had this for, for a while now. It looks like I should replace the battery. Um, I'm going to walk through all these settings. Um, but I guess, I guess to start off the way that I got hip to this or the reason why I purchased it in the first place is because of the deep diving, the deep sea diving that I learned about. It's a very dangerous sport, a free diving, actually. It's a very dangerous sport. People, unfortunately, die uh, because, well, for lots of different reasons. Um, basically, they, they dive deep and they, the pressure goes, as you go into the water, the, the pressure builds um, up in your ears. And if you come up too fast, it actually messes with your blood, the oxygen in your blood. And also you could just drown if you go too far. It's, it's really crazy, but people, people get super into it. And I respect everyone that does the sport. And um, I think there's some really amazing health benefits. People say that they, um, they're they able to slow down their heart rate and um, they're able to, it's very, it's, it's peaceful. It's, it's so serene. Uh, I've never done it. I'm too scared to actually. Uh, I consider myself to be a pretty good swimmer, but I, I'm, I've just never, that's, that's not for me. Uh, maybe maybe at some point I'll try to do it a little bit, but uh, you know, people that are very competitive because it's a competition as well. So people are trying to go deeper and deeper and deeper, and sometimes they even wear these fins that helps them go deeper. It's like it's crazy. But I was interested when I learned about. I can't remember what video I stumbled upon. You know, the the right side of YouTube is crazy. You can discover so many things. Is probably maybe how you stumbled upon this video, but. Anyway, I was researching the free diving and I, I saw an interview by like one of the champions and he was explaining how he can actually slow down his heart rate. Um, and that's when I got interested in being able to control my heart, which is an, uh, I guess they call that uh, anatomic or autotomic or it's part of the body that you're not really in control of. Um, we're in control of our breath if we want to be consciously aware of it. But, you know, the majority of the day, we are not thinking about it and the body just naturally breathes itself. That's that's one of the few, uh, I guess, maybe that's the only one where you can really take charge of it if you so desire. But it turns out that actually the heart, um, if you really focus your mind and train it, you can... Uh, you can manipulate it as well. So I started to practice that and it has to do with your breathing and, and just being very relaxed. At first, I didn't even really think it was possible until I saw these people do it. Um, and the way that they practice is they had one of these devices. Actually, the, the device that he had was plugged into a smartphone. Um, but for some reason, I couldn't find the one that he had and it was an app he put this thing on his finger and then it was an app in the phone and it kind of gave you like a breakdown of what your heart rate was and you could track your progress over time and i, I still if anyone knows what that is please leave it in the description because i i'd still like to check it out this was the next best thing that i could find when i started searching on amazon and it kind of looks like one of those things that they have in the hospital that they put on your on your finger and when they want to make sure that your all your vitals are are okay and in line uh real quick just to kind of walk you through the back comes up i believe yes these are AAA batteries so it takes two AAA batteries put this back on it pops in there like that and uh, let's focus focus I know it, it turns off pretty quick. I think that can be a setting. Let's try to adjust that now. and Let's see if this is what happens when you stick your finger inside and the screen. It should change. 
This should change. It's been a while since I used this. Okay, so right now, my heart rate is 63 beats per minute. Um, the 98, I honestly don't know what that is. Um, but it's pretty cool because in doing this, first of all, I got more in tune with my body. I can really sense my pulse um, very easily now without this device. Um, just because at night when I went to bed, before bed, I would just kind of practice and pay attention. Um, obviously, or maybe not obviously, but I guess I should mention that, you know, during the daytime when you're active on, and, you know, out and about, it's going to be a little bit higher of a number. The, um, <clears throat> The lowest that I've gotten it to go so far was 49, okay? And that was in bed, um, and I was breathing. What you actually do, and, you know, I'm no expert in this, but what I what I was became a little bit successful in to make it go down to 49, and there's other people, I think these monks train and the deep free diver, uh, he had it go down to like 30 or... 20 or 15 or something really crazy 15 heartbeats per minute and actually um the monks i heard that they try not to teach people this stuff because you can actually die if you slow i mean consciously slow your heart rate down so much like that's kind of scary to know that you could snuff out your own life if you if you make the heart rate slow down too much um, so, you know, but I think you would need to, you would need to be really, really low for that to happen. Like maybe four or five, or I really don't know, but you know, I'm not trying to get anywhere near there. <laughs> 49 is safe. Uh, or so I hope. And yeah, so the method is to, to take a deep breath and then to relax or expel it rather. And while you're expelled, you're, you're not breathing. You're just completely expelled. That's when you focus on just slowing it down. Uh, and I can't really describe, you know, there's nothing to really visualize. You just try to feel, you try to feel your heart and you try to make it go s as slow as it possibly can. And um, it's during that exhale state that you're able to make it go a little bit slower. And maybe the first round... So actually, let me try to do it. Right, it's been a while. This is not going to, I'm not going to be like the best demonstrator. But you, you know, you put it in a comfortable position. I'm sorry, the focus is messed up here. Come on, iPhone. So 55 is as low as I can get it right now. But hopefully you realized and you saw like it when I got silent, I was able to actually affect it a little bit. And I think that's that's great for a number of reasons. First of all, it's healthy to have a slow heart rate. Uh, it's healthy to be in control of it because if you're in a nervous situation and you realize that you have control over your heart, you, you can slow it down. Um, although... I. <laughs> I'm not going to make it seem like it's easy, um, you know, if, if you're about to speak in front of a lot of people. I've try, actually tried to do this before and I start to feel a little bit nervous. I'm like, oh, I can slow my heart rate down. Well, it's a lot harder to do it when you're, you're amped up and you have the adrenaline flowing through you versus when you're just laying in bed at home. But in theory, it should work. So I think, in, you know, I'm not like a master at this, but I think if you really gain control and could slow your heart rate down to maybe like uh, 25 uh, in bed, then probably it would make sense that if you're nervous uh, in life when you're awake, you, you should have considerable control where it would 
be enough to kind of take the edge off. So that's something that I'm still striving towards. Um, but it's, you know, it's nice to be able to have this readout. And if you don't, you can actually turn off the beep if you want. Let me, this is so hard to do with just while holding the video. Oh yeah, that's right. If you hit the button, So there's four different angles. That it does, and you gotta stick your finger in there for it to do stuff. There we are. So now if you hold the button, there's only one button on this. There's all these Different readouts. Come on, focus. Doesn't want to focus. But as I hit down here, okay, these are the sound setup. And just simply hold the button to get it to. Uh, Here's the beep. I want to turn it off. So I just hit it once and I'm going to hold it. Now it's off. Now it's not beeping anymore. Okay, let's have a beep again. Hold it. Back. So, you know, it's, it's very simple to navigate. That's pretty much it. Let's exit this. I'm just going to click down to it and then hold it to select and you're back to the main view. So that's that's kind of like a crash course. You can see the battery is in the center. It's almost dead. I should um, put three new, or rather two new AAAs back in there. But this is a really cool device. And um, you know, if you wanna get in touch with your, your body, get in touch with your heart rate, and you wanna actually, you don't need this. This is just a, a way to measure it. And I actually don't even really practice with it anymore but definitely in getting started, I wanted to see some proof. I wanted to know where my numbers were and I wanted to see how low I was able to get it down. Um, you know, just laying in bed and trying to slow your heart rate down, you don't know how slow you're going. So that's why it was important for me to get this device. Um, it's not terribly expensive. I think it's about 65 or 70 bucks when I got it. Um, so yeah, you know, about a hundred, under a hundred dollars, I think you can get yourself a nice one of these. So, uh, that's all I have to really say about it. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you like hearing about this stuff, I talk about a lot of different things. Um, everything that I talk about is stuff that I've had personal experience with. Um, uh, it's, you know, if I don't like it, I'll tell you. Um, if I do like it, I'll tell you, but it's, it's truth. And it, it comes from my own personal experience, like I said. So, um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.